zu uns sprechen Rasa Sirene aus Litauen und dann Pavel Pikowski aus Polen und er wird das auf Englisch machen. Bitte. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Paweł Bietkowski. I represent the Metal Poland Association. I would like today to show you um, how Dr. Rudolf Steiner Impulse involved in Eastern Europe and what was the key factors up to date before 100 years celebration. Due to the history, uh, Koberwitz, now Kobierzyce, become part of Poland. And seven years, uh, six years later, in 1930, there was a first conversion quite significant for just all Eastern Europe. Then in 1980, uh, solidarity emerged, which changed history of uh, Eastern Europe, and also started to uh, to make farmers considering uh, ecology as an important issue. But only after 1989, after the Berlin Wall fell down, uh, really ecological agriculture and biodynamic agriculture start to emerge, emerge in our countries. After 45 years of uh, Russian domination, which uh, have frozen development of uh, agriculture uh, in the other way than uh, suggested by uh, Soviet Union. Uh, suddenly, uh, we become a free and out of this influence and can uh, develop it. At the very beginning, majority of the farmers which wanted to convert to ecological agriculture uh, uh, declare themselves to, to go for biodynamics. This is also occasion to thank uh, our friends from Germany and Switzerland who uh, helps our, our land at this very beginning, at this very early uh, time to, to convert, giving us advice and uh, um, help us also financially to, uh, to develop. As far as uh, agriculture courses are concerned, uh, we can see that uh, it was translated into seven languages, started from uh, into Czech in 1996, and then followed by Russian, Romanian, Hungarian, Serbian, Polish, and the last one was the Esperanto. Of course, it's not the uh, Eastern European language because it's artificial language, but first of all, it was invented in Eastern Europe. It was invented in Poland. And also, they have many supporters and, and lovers who use this language um, just for fun, but also have opportunity to, to read agriculture course uh, in this special language. In terms of Organizations. The first organization which emerged in Eastern Europe was in Hungary. That was in the year 2000. And then five others in 2002, Slovenia. Then 2005 in Poland. We are this year 18 years old. Then in Lithuania in 1915. Then very important organization in Ukraine. Ukraine have a special approach to the soil and uh, they really consider biodynamic movement as a, as a future because of the situation they have at the moment in their country. And then the last one of this list, uh, there is Czech Republic, which emerged in our map in 2020. How it started? The first conversion, as I said, was in 1930, and the person who made it. Uh, there was Stanislav Karłowski, owner of the uh, big farm in Szalejewo, 
with a very unusual experience because he was a banker, that was his first profession. He was a very successful businessman, but also he was a politician. And sometime in his very successful career, he decided to become a farmer. So we can say it was a pioneer of organic farming in Eastern Europe. How it happened? Um, according to the history, he met uh, Dr. Uh, Ginter Wachsmuth, who was going by train to Warsaw uh, to lecture on anthroposophical um, meeting. And during the trip in the train, he convinced Karwoski to convert into biodynamics. To be honest, I don't believe that in a, somebody who is a businessman, uh, successful businessman who is a banker, who is to deal with different deals, get just convinced like that in a couple of hours uh, by the conversation with the unknown person in the train. But no doubt he got a friends and he got he know the people who already were familiar with uh, Rudolf Steiner ideas and Rudolf Steiner impulse. One of them was family Shedlecki. Franciszek Shedlecki was the person who built uh, windows to the first, uh, first, in first Getanum. So we can admire copies or ideas he was, he was doing with. His wife was the secretary uh, of Polish section of agriculture society, uh, I'm sorry, anthroposophical society. So uh, both of them definitely uh, show Karwoski the ideas of Rudolf Steiner. But he was a banker. He was a businessman. So he was uh, considering this conversion as a path for development of their farm. He was convinced that not only it, be, it will work economically, but also it will work as far as uh, healthy uh, plants and healthy animals are concerned. His advisor to conversion in 1930, there was Almar von Wistinghausen and the many other prominent pioneers of, bio, of uh, biodynamic agriculture visited Szelejewo at the time. I know definitely that there was Nicholas, Nicolaus Romer and Erhard Barch. But also Karwoski at this time invite scientists, invite uh, researchers to research the conversion process, process uh, he was doing for four years. Fortunately for us, convention plan, conversion plan, as well as the story uh, behind it was uh, very well described and published in 1937 in the Matter newspaper number eight. I strongly recommend you to, to see it. Karwoski was not only focusing on his own farm. He was very keen to promote biodynamic movement. He was very active in it. He published more than 20 publications uh, uh, during his activity until 1939. He was managed to translate very quickly the uh, work of uh, Ehrenheit Pfeiffer. But also, he during this time, he supported the science and support researchers, which not only uh, provide with the, with the financial support, but also in his farm, he opened it uh, for any kind of research. He ran very heavy uh, polemics in the press with the supporters of artificial fertilizers. They were rich, they, they have a lot of uh, sources to, to convince people that the uh, uh, modern way of, of agriculture using artificial fertilizers uh, is the best way. He was trying to convince that you know, it's just opposite, that artificial fertilizers make agriculture going nowhere, that the plants and animals are getting sick more and more, and also economically it doesn't work very well. Shortly before the war, uh, he got another idea how to promote uh, Rudolf Steiner impulse, 
which was to create an association to show the, how I would say, modern, uh, uh, modern society lifestyle, showing that you know, we have to provide uh, with the agriculture uh, such activity that we are not spoiling the earth, but also we have to run the healthy life. Among the 29 uh, of founder members, uh, there was 12 professors from different universities and 10 people with the PhDs. So he take it very seriously. So what was the message Karwoski wanted to give us for the new millennium? First of all, there was close cooperation with the science and close cooperation with the um, people who used uh, methodology-based scientific research to promote our ideas and to pro promote biodynamic method. Second was to focus on economical issues as a priority discussion to, to, to promote our ideas. We can see what's going on in India. We can see what's going on in Ukraine. And I'm absolutely convinced that he was right there. And then the last but not least, there was, this is the ecology, the, the topic which is very, very popular now. But it was in 1939 he was just promoted. As I said, we, we got frozen for 45 uh, years because of our politics. Uh, and after the Berlin Wall fell down, there was a very significant person of our movement, I mean Dr. Manfred Klett, who wanted to do something for Eastern Europe. He wanted to set up something which give influence, which gives, give, uh, which start to, 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 to uh, develop a biodynamic movement in Eastern, in Eastern Europe. He was considering Russia, but then after consideration, he decided to, to make a project of big farm, 2,000 he hectares uh, big in Yuhovo. Uh, which is, is north northwestern part of uh, Poland. This initiative, uh, he suggested to give uh, the shape of foundation and the name of this uh, foundation, he suggested to be Stanisław Karłowski because sometime earlier he was able not only to read this uh, conversion plan uh, story in the Meta newspaper, but also other publication Karłowski published in German. Uh, so suggestion was to uh, continue the work uh, started in Szelejewo in, in Juhovo, and it's still very successfully going on there for 23 years now. If we see uh, Juhovo now, we can say that it, it's, it gives really very strong impulse to in Eastern Europe as far as education is concerned. People coming from different countries uh, getting support in many educational projects, as well as this is the center for the science. There are many scientific projects, uh, I mean conventional science, which can uh, find a place there to research and successfully publish their work. And the last, this is this cultural impulse in, the, in, a, in a farm, in a village, which is also very important uh, for Eastern European countries where uh, villages were neglected for so many years because of this Russian sort of uh, approach to the, to the agriculture. You have all get, do really, really very important work there. Just to conclude, I hope, I sincerely hope, that all of you, all uh, people involved in biodynamic movement from all over the world, anthroposophers and also people who support our movement, will come to Kobyrzyce to celebrate our 100 years anniversary. Thank you very much. Thank you.